Well, hello there. In the last video of this series, we discussed the effect of a particular sleep aid had on our ability to sleep. That sleep aid is L-theanine, and there was some nuance to how it affects our sleep, so I'd encourage that you check out that video. But assuming you already have seen it, then I'd like to fulfill my promise to you. Specifically, offer a mechanism for how L-theanine has the effects that it has, and also mention how much the studies used to find the maximal effect. I'm also going to add another bit of information which will be important for maximizing its effectiveness. So if you're looking for a natural, safe sleep aid to help you through the night, this is the video for you. So we don't need to rehash the data from the last video, but the information I'll provide here is still extracted from this small research review on sleep aids. Therein, the researchers mentioned that much is yet unknown about the mechanisms of L-theanine, but one thing seems to be pretty certain. L-theanine is structurally similar to a neurotransmitter known as glutamate. A neurotransmitter is a molecule used by your brain cells to communicate with one another. Glutamate tends to be excitatory, meaning it increases arousal of the brain. So you can imagine glutamate isn't wanted when trying to go to sleep. However, how does a structurally similar molecule like L-theanine then play a role? Well, it could be through a molecular mechanism known as biased agonism, where an L-theanine binds the same glutamate receptors on the brain cells as a glutamate, but the receptor sends a different signal within the cell, inhibiting its excitation. So L-theanine may not only block glutamate from binding, but may actively inhibit the excitation of the brain cells. Another mechanism is explained through its interaction with what are known as GABAergic neurons, which are cells that enact an opposing role to glutamate. They inhibit the hyperactivation of the brain and lead to greater relaxation. It is also believed that L-theanine changes the levels of serotonin and dopamine in the brain, but the exact mechanism is not explained at the time of this recording. Although research into the mechanisms needs to be further investigated, the effect is clear. So, okay, we have some idea of L-theanine's mechanism. Now, how much to take? Well, too little intake of L-theanine may not do much, if anything, so the researchers used as much as 200 milligrams of the supplement, which is a pretty sizable amount. Preliminary studies in its safety at higher amounts, even over 200 milligrams, indicate no consequences. But for maximum effectiveness, because L-theanine is absorbed quickly, reaching elevated blood levels in as little as 30 to 45 minutes, you would want to take L-theanine about 45 minutes to an hour before bed to experience the effects on sleep that we discussed last video. Now, certainly don't mistake L-theanine as a miracle supplement, meaning that you can ignore all of the best practices for sleep, but it certainly does offer an added advantage, actually in more ways than just sleep. If you're so inclined, feel free to check out some of my other content, which will provide you with more information on how to improve your health in a science-based fashion. Till then, bye.